Hey there, tubers. Do you want to save a ton of money, maybe 50% on a used RV right now or in the next few months? Hey, hey, hey this is the video for you. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you guys are doing well. I am here today to actually show you how to save around 50% on a used RV, <laughs> if you live in North America and you're an American. Yep, I'm gonna show you exactly how and walk you through it. And it's partly because of what's going on with the, the crisis we're in. And it's also because of arbitrage of currency problems. And it's also because commodity prices of oil in Canada have taken a <whistles> So many Canadians are selling their toys. Opportunity for you, because nothing in life can be so bad that somebody else can't profit from it. So let's get to it and let's get you an RV at 50% off and I'm gonna show you some real world examples. Okay, what we're gonna do first off is I wanted to find a model of a RV, a Class C motorhome, that you could find both in Canada and the US to compare an apple against an apple. Because no point in comparing an apple to an orange because we do have a lot of smaller manufacturers up here that uh, only make up here and rarely sell in the US. So, you know, I want you to get an honest understanding of how to do this and how this works. So first of all, I'm uh, gonna show you a listing that I have up here for a 2007 Jayco Seneca 35GS. This is uh, with a diesel platform. Nice big Class C with, I believe it's got three slides. Don't, don't quote me. Onboard generator, all the accoutrements, nice separate little bedroom in the back. Perfect, larger size, but very livable Class C motorhome. And this is listed right now somewhere in the Midwest. Uh, where is it actually in Wisconsin in Eau Claire uh, for 62,000 US dollars I really have no idea if that's a good price I'm sure all these prices have wiggle room but I'm just gonna show you the list price so let's move on to the next one here okay we also have a 2007 Jayco Seneca for $54,000 listed here got all the same features 54,000 now, if you check out Craigslist in Ontario, I found the exact same unit, 2007 Jayco Seneca 35GS, 36,000 Canadian dollars, which right now is 25,500 US dollars. Half price of the lowest price that I could find right now. Half off, man. Even if you factor in a $400 flight to come up here, you know, and maybe 800 bucks for fuel to drive it back, you're saving big box man now I do realize a lot of Americans do not travel much out of sight of their country and they're not aware of all that currency fluctuation between their currency and other currencies but right now Canada is kind of a resource-based economy we're not exporting much oil oils worth very little almost nothing actually worth negative money <laughs> last week uh, so the Canadian dollar is taking a beating relative to the US dollar but, for example, the Canadian dollar is still doing better than, say, the New Zealand dollar. So, you know, everything is always relative to what you're speaking about. But why not arbitrage? That's just a fancy word for getting the same commodity from a different market at a better price. Why not arbitrage the price difference? Buy the exact same thing up here in Canada, save a whole bunch of money, and just take it home and enjoy it. Now, make sure you do your research. Make sure you do a lean search. Check that VIN number for any liens before you buy anything, before you even exchange any cash. And make sure you do a full inspection of the vehicle, compression test of the engine, all that stuff. Make sure it's propane certified. Get all your paperwork in order and um, come on up here. Make sure if you're coming into Canada, you must legally declare over 10,000 Canadian dollars. You must declare if you have $10,000 at the border or more, or else they're gonna seize your money and fine you. Just say it and make sure any vehicle that you buy has the DOT approved sticker so that you can import it into Canada. I'm going to put a link to the U.S. Customs and uh, Border Services um, 
so you can actually look and do some research about importing an RV back to the US of A. But right now the Canadian dollar is tanking, probably going to tank even further. So get your shekels all ready, get your nice little bag of cash, come up, up to Canada and save a lot of money. And I'm going to tell you where you need to look. There's three markets you want to check out. Vancouver's got a pretty big RV market. There's going to be a few people desperate to sell. But where the people are going to be really desperate is Alberta. Alberta is like Texas North. The entire oil economy has collapsed, so people sell the toys first. So check Craigslist in Calgary, Red Deer, and Edmonton. Keep checking. Check every week. There's going to be some great bargains. And the border will be opening up probably next month. To discretionary travel so I'm thinking anytime from June on you're probably gonna have no problems coming up here make sure you don't have a criminal record if you've been a naughty boy or a girl you ain't coming up here and make sure you got a passport so other than that come on up declare the money do your research VIN test make sure you do that VIN check make sure you do a lien check make sure you get a propane certified get all your paperwork together come on up save 50% or even more on the exact same RV that you could buy in the United States. Why waste the money? Unless you just like wasting money. Hey, the world has changed a lot in the last month. Maybe you like wasting money. I personally don't. So arbitrage the shit out of that RV industry and the price difference on used RVs. Hey, and we're talking all this stuff. Vans, trailers. You want to come up here and get a motorcycle? Hey, I've been looking at Ninja 300s. The arbitrage price difference on a used Ninja 300 in Canada compared to one in Seattle, it's a huge price difference. I wouldn't buy one in Seattle right now. It would just be a waste of money. But that's just me. Hey, I travel. I check these currency things out. I play the game. I am binational. Because <laughs> I spent a lot of time in the US, so I know how to play both countries against each other to get ahead legitimately. And you should too. Why not? It's your money. Why waste it? Back when I was a very young man, I used to import cars from Southern California, particularly Los Angeles, to Canada back when the uh, free trade agreement came into effect. And I believe it was 1989 and since then a lot of vehicles have um, become a lot easier to move back and forth across the border in either direction and uh, which is really a good thing because it gives you more selection and opportunity to capitalize on good bargains or particular units that you want for yourself so this video is going to definitely uh, point you in that direction for you to save a lot of money on an RV right now especially during the crisis that we're going through right now so the most important thing you need to do is a little bit of research and be willing to strike when you find that deal it's all it takes and you got to get on a plane to do it and make sure you're always ready to walk away from the deal if there's problems with the title or if you smell mold or mildew or there's any evidence of any leaks or delamination you don't need that hassle Unless they're giving you that damn RV, walk away, don't buy it. And while you're at it, spend at least 100 bucks to have a mechanical inspection done. Peace of mind. Hey, when I bought my RV, I had an inspection done, and the radiator needed to be replaced, and a few other things. So the dealer actually ate 1000 bucks of the repairs to sell it to me. I think that was money well spent. So, in the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground. You got any questions? Throw them in the comment section. I might be able to answer them. So keep your wheels in the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out.